Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, my name's Simon, and this is my snowplow. Why is it sitting there? Well, as you can see, the first little bit of snow we had two days ago, it kind of went, but our first big drop is due now for the next 24 hours. Have I welded up my snowplow? No. I did put the chains on though. So I've just chained her up. Well, actually, I had to commission the help of Sarah as well because uh, she's helped me do it every year and last year I did it by myself. I did a lot of things by myself last year. And where did that get me? Well, that got me with a slip disc, and then herniated and finally ruptured. Anyway, I've got a new back now. But, so, oh, there's nothing like last minute, is there? I've got to use this tonight, tomorrow. And this is what I've got. One big crack forming all the way through there. A secondary crack there. And many small cracks there. So I just want to stick some weld over those. Just to... So each year I get a build up. It starts in this corner and it sticks. Well, I've never really looked too closely. These are old grader bars on the bottom and there must have been a bigger one welded there at some point and it was just hacked off and all, so this isn't helping and then I want to smooth all this off and give it a spray of silicon see if I can get the snow firing out the side should it, like it should but anyway yeah, it's 15.30 I can see, uh, well I can show you how cold it is I can show you how cold it is you can see the icicles there hanging down off the roof so it's currently minus 6 and um, whatever comes down is going to stay, so welding. So uh, I thought it'd be clever. I wouldn't bother wearing my gauntlets because these gloves are warmer. Yep, that's my finger in there. Ouch. Right, so now the horse is bolted. We'll lock the door. There we go. I've decided I've decided to stop it there so that's got that one and that's got that one I started to make a mess there really that one's a plate 
over that. But anyway. So uh, I said it was coming, didn't I? Um, now that's got that crack there and that one there and that one. Well, I just started to make a right mess there. So anyway, it's too late now. Too late now. You can see what's happened in 38 minutes. That's how long this camera's been running while I've been welding. 38 minutes. It's going to get a whole lot worse real fast. Bit is putting that in the It didn't look like this when we came out, that's for sure. There you go. There. That's going to look a whole lot different in the morning, I can assure you of that. Could have been worse. That's not so bad. That could have been a lot worse. Fifty mil. Forty eight hours later. Well, it's gonna be a surprise to some. You can only tell some people so much. You can lead a horse to water. It's forty eight hours later. Yesterday I didn't do anything. Well, that's not true. I worked all day, but I was uh, experimenting with the um Lugasol multi head planer. So I didn't go out, I didn't do anything. But it hasn't stopped snowing. So just before I switch the light on and talk to you some more, and then we're gonna go outside. Let me show you the view from my shop window now. So that's normal. That's home. That's what I'm used to seeing. That's 48 hours. And still it snows. Is that normal for the first drop of the year? Yeah. 
That's about what it's like. Right. So we're going to get all our kit on and then uh, outside, which is even more scary. And um, we'll start ploughing. I'll do some more on um, what I've been doing later, but for all you men that know, uh, there's a few women that know, but not often. smell -o vision you just, you can't, oh, the smell. So uh, yeah, I was, um, I was uh, running that all day yesterday, producing trims and skirtings and other things, door frames that I need. So uh, this is my first time ever of having to do snow clearing whilst thinking about the camera. I uh, don't know how this is gonna work, but I can tell you, because I've already been out with the dog, that the whole thing is um, quite shocking. Now I don't know for this type of snow and how it's snowed over the last 48 hours, whether the plough's best or whether I'm gonna have to change to the bucket because of the temperature. Anyway, here we go. That's my neighbour ploughing. He's out already. So today's date, 22nd of October. Oh. Right, here we are. We was running this just a few days ago. So I'm not even two blades wide. Snow's too deep to go a full blade. 
because uh, the permafrost hasn't, or the frost hasn't really got into the ground. But I want to show you what uh, one and a half blades wide of snow looks like in 48 hours. It's not really applicable for those that know. It's applicable for my ex-wife and all the other non-believers of how you live out here. Let me show you. Myself out and dig myself down to the, the forest road yet. So, um, when I do snow clearing like this, to clear the yards, clear the roads, I don't know, today, three or four hours, I didn't stop snowing yet. And um, I have to be a bit careful because, like I say, we've not got frozen ground yet, so, but, but this will explain why the importance of tractor maintenance, why I put the chains on, why I was stressing about clearing the yard and why I was welding on the plough when this started. So you can see it, it, it scrapes the ground a little to start with. Once I've got this lot ploughed down like this it'll freeze hard and then we'll see that again in uh, end of May beginning of June but um, I'm gonna have to change for the bucket. So that's dug myself down to the forest track there. Let's take this off a bit. And that's cleared the entrance to the yard. Ah, my tripod was frozen to the ground. That's something I haven't experienced before. So this is good compact snow now. We need this to freeze really hard when it's supposed to be minus 10 tonight so that'll do it. It'll start the freeze process. So it's filled my trailer up look and I never got my saw sled down and um, well this is what we're faced with. So uh, yeah the ends of my fingers are gone now takes me two or three goes to get the blood flowing through everything so we'll switch that off and uh, we'll go for coffee then we'll come out and we'll I think we're gonna need to change for the bucket I we'll scoop all the snow up there and over there so they also get piled up down the end there 
and then it's the long run down the side of the building to push it all to the front of the drainage ditches. <coughs> the importance of putting the drainage ditches in, Mark, you saw us do it on the last video, was uh, all of this, of course this is just our first snowfall of six months, but it will all drain down there, all of it. So we have to keep that clear and uh, there's a big drainage ditch at the bottom there which I've got open plus a culvert and all of this stuff will um, melt and run down there. I don't think we need to leave this running. I don't leave it running unless it's uh, below minus 10. And we're not below minus 10. The importance of the snow chains. So I'd never been able to push that snow without these chains. So if I hadn't put the chains on yesterday, well, no, it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, then this morning would have been a no-go, just absolute no-go. So my big airy tyres, you know, they're good in the gravel and the mud, but snow, no. Ain't that bit. Oh. So we'll switch the lights off. God, my fingers gone completely. I'm sure I've said this in an earlier video, before it was winter. Sometimes, oh, the snow's blowing right in the cab. Shut the window. There's <laughs> no door. <laughs> um, sometimes I have to have two or three goes at getting all the veins and arteries to open up. So, uh, anyway, I'm in no rush. So we'll just go and take coffee. We'll put the tripod here where the sawmill is. So this is all frozen solid in there. So. When I was going on about cleaning it up, there was a reason for that. There's a re reason for stacking that lot over there. There was a reason for stacking that lot over there. Another new problem. I walked out this morning with a full battery on this, and my warning thing's just come up saying battery low, and that's because it's been stood over there on a tripod, which means the reality is most of the time you're going to be low on battery. What can you do?
I don't know if you can see exactly what I've done or not. <laughs> anyway, it's four hours later, I've had enough. I've got other things I need to be doing. So I've done what I can do and I'll try and, I've done all I'm doing for today. I've cleared enough to get round the circle there and I've pushed a lot of it down there, but you can see there's a lot of a yard. There's one snow pile over there. It's starting to melt over there. That big, that big pole down the bottom down there. All right, that's all pushed from the yard. So um, it's still snowing. It's gonna snow much more. So it gives you an idea of height. This is a good indication of where we are. So that's that. I've just heard a snowmobile bill going past. So it'll be time to get that out next. Do we have one? Oh yeah. We have a big one. No, that's tractor plowing. Anyway, from a very, very snowy, but beautiful, starting to look a lot like Christmas. Beautiful. Love it, love it. Thanks for joining me, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, so you can keep up with uh, the snow clearing, because that's where we are. Anyway, I'm back off to play with some wood now. Thanks very much, bye for now.